Hi, the next thing we're going to discuss on the ArcLinux Tweet tool is HBlock. So if you don't have the ArcLinux Tweet tool, what you do is just install it through the pacman-s ArcLinux Tweet tool and press enter. You will notice that uh, we have keyboard shortcuts for it as well. Control alt e is going to launch it asking your password as a root administrator. And then you have this uh, pop-up and we are going over the details. The versions will change, the details or the, the options will change. Um, we're developing, but this is what we have until now. HBlock is super interesting and HBlock is actually going to block everything. And you see it's standard already on. When I install a system, the first thing I'll do is uh, make sure that I don't get all these spam websites and these, these uh, trackers and all that. You don't see them. You don't have any um, nuisance from them. What's happening in the back side or in the end here is actually just an ap application that we have already available in here. And some of you know that. That's the button in here in XFC, add block it's called. And what it's going to do, so basically we are doing the same thing with this slider, is going to run all of this, um, well, this, this application that's not from us, but it's H block from GitHub. And it's going to build a long list of all bad things happening out there. 127,000 blocked domains. So these guys cannot hurt us anymore. Where is it? In the hosts file. You scroll down, you'll see that there are back files, so backup files. And if we open it up, not with Vivaldi, but for with Sublime Text, for instance, all these guys are rubbish sites. So sites that are keeping track of you or you see sex amateur things uh, things that are really uh, going to, to screw with your system and that's not the point really we don't want any advertising trackers or anything like that so all these this long list all these websites you'll never have any uh, nuisance from them they won't bother you so that's the point with uh, about this this host thing and we have an article about it as well arclinks.com if you want to know more about this H block thing um, it's explained all there. So if we say, okay, we don't want it anymore, we don't want HBlock, then something's gonna happen as well. It's going to be overwriting with the standard uh, look. And we should go a bit up. And this is your, your standard, um, well, uh, well, this is all text, so these guys do not matter. But this is your standard hosts file for Linux. So everything is cool. But if we do a database update again, you'll see that this will change in a while. It has to run the application and 125,000. Incredible, right? A list, a long list of all the domains that are blocked. They're going to 000 as IP address, meaning they don't get out there. They, they, you can't get out to these websites. They're blocked. So that's HBlock for you. It's easy, it's convenient, and it's just a slider up here. All right, enjoy.